Hey guys, welcome to AngularJS lessons. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create your first controller. Okay, so first of all, I can create the controller, then I can bind that controller into my HTML. Okay, so first of all, go to the script, then Angular dot module and give the application name let's say my app okay and you have to refer this name to the ngf so my app name is ngf name is my app okay then second parameter is list of dependencies but in this lesson we don't have any dependencies so we can keep it blank then I can create controller so dot controller first parameter is controller name so let's say what um my controller CTRL my controller and second parameter is a function in this case I am creating anonymous function but you can even specify the function name here okay so here I want to add so I want to inject you know a scope variable so a scope dot let's say what x equal 0 okay similarly a scope dot y equal 0 that means what in the body I want to add to input text box then oops ng model equal x similarly I have another one which is y and this is for g okay so so what hmm so at this point i want to display let's see oops one two three i want to add beer okay so it is not binded if it is binded it will display 0 okay first of all you have to add ng controller so my controller name is my ctrl my controller okay then run it you can see 0 0 right okay so what I want to do is I want to sum this x plus y and I want to store into z then I want to display that g into the third text box okay so g equal function and in the function it will return a scope x plus a scope y okay let's see oops it is returning the complete function over here so it's a method okay so what we have to do is we have to invoke this method using this parenthesis okay so here g is a method now let's say 1 plus 2 equal 12 so it is making what it is making you know um, a string concatenation but what we can do is we can make it double or integer then we can add it all right so we can solve this issue in several way first of all we can 
make this input type as number then let's see so I want to add 10 with 20 that means 30 this is one solution but if you really want to keep it text box then what we have to do is we have to parse this string value into integer okay so there is a method parse int so it will convert this string value into integer similarly x value I mean y value okay now let's see so I want to add 100 with 25 so you can see 125 right so in this example you have learned how to parse you know a string value into integer and how to bind to way binding here I want to mention one thing this is called two way binding here I am binding X and Y to the controller and from the controller I am binding G with the model I mean you can see this method okay so similarly we can add first name and last name right so it will be what let's say I have another controller my controller name is person controller okay and in the person controller what I have is scope dot first name initially empty similarly last name then I want to add full name equal it will return what scope first name plus a space last name oops okay now let's see I want to make it as what first name this is last name and this is full name and my controller name is person controller right let's see oops so it is adding here but initially it is undefined mm, because of this you can see my property name is not correct but I wanted to add last name so it was wrong now let's see so okay so it is adding here right and in the full name I am adding one space which is returning from here okay so in this lesson you have learned two way bindings with the controller and how to create the controller and how to create the apps okay I hope you enjoyed this lesson so if you have any question or any doubt please feel free to write 
in the comment box and you can give me a positive feedback if you like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe this channel and you can share thank you